everyone, this is Hussain Hashem from WhatsApp Media Network. We're live uh, in Dearborn. Uh, live with uh, Wayne County Sheriff Ma'ana uh, Sheriff Staff, right? Chief of Staff. Hala, I'm going to talk about Wayne County Sheriff as a, as a, as a department. أكيد أكيد تحياتنا لكم كل اللي قاعد تتابعونا على واتساب ميديا نتورك معكم حسين هشام من واتساب ميديا نتورك بس مباشر من مدينة ديربون نحن حاليا موجودين ورح نكون متواجدين وفي جولة خاصة مع تشيف اوف ستاف تبع وين كاوني شرف الأستاذ أسعد ترفة رح نكون موجودين بأكثر من مؤسسة لحتى يتأكدوا أنه هودي المؤسسات عم بيقوموا بتطبيق قواعد التباعد الاجتماعي وكمان رح يعطوهم تعليمات عن عن كيفية تطبيق هيدي القواعد وشو هن الشغلات اللي لازم يكونوا هن ملتزمين فيها فأكيد رح نكون نحن متواجدين معهم في هذه الجولة هن يعني رح يروحوا على أكثر من بزنس أول بزنس نحن موجودين فيه حاليا هو بزنس تبع شتيلة على شارع وورن أفنيو خليني أبرم الكاميرا لعند أسعد وأكيد خلت أتأكد الصوت ماشي مزبوط أكيد خضل أستاذ مع أسعد هاي أسعد هو أريد هاي هاو أريد Thank you. Asad, tell us about this campaign, what you guys are doing. Yes, thank you. So, uh, as many of you are aware, uh, the city of Dearborn has had a recent spikes in COVID cases. Uh, over the last several days, they've either been number one in Wayne County uh, or tied for number one. Over the last several days today, there's been there 75 cases in all of Wayne County. Uh, 15 of those cases came out of the city of Dearborn. Uh, so what we did is we began a public awareness campaign and that is going business to business uh, with the help of the Wayne County Sheriff's Office. Uh, our Wayne County Health Department has been going business to business and we're uh, educating the business. And what we're doing is, it's a very simple public awareness campaign. It's, it's to bring the light to proper safe practices of wearing a mask, uh, ensuring that there's only so many limited people inside businesses, uh, encouraging traffic one way in and one way out, um, and this public awareness campaign began uh, on Tuesday, on Monday of this week. Uh, Tuesday, we began business checks. Uh, we already, we've already uh, visited uh, several hundred businesses in the city of Dearborn. Uh, it's been very positive response so far. Uh, it, you know, it, the word is getting out to your help, uh, to the help of the media and the, and the community. Uh, we've, we're seeing very positive response. We're seeing businesses being done the right way uh, and what, what else we need from you is this weekend on Saturday and Sunday uh, the Wayne County uh, Executive's Office has teamed up with the City of Dearborn uh, and we're providing free COVID testing so we want you to come out and see us this Saturday and Sunday at the Henry Ford Centennial Library located on Michigan Avenue in the City of Dearborn between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. We have six lanes uh, set up to do COVID testing. Uh, we plan on uh, trying to process you as fast as possible. Uh, we don't want you waiting in long lines, so come out and see us uh, this Saturday and Sunday between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, again, this was uh, hosted by the Wayne County Executive Warren C. Evans and the City of Dearborn. So we want you to come out. Um, you know, the Sheriff's Office has been doing a wonderful job. Our Sheriff, Sheriff Benny Napoleon, has done a great job by sending his uh, Wayne County Sheriff deputies out here. Uh, they've been very helpful. They've been getting a very positive response from our community, uh, from the Dearborn community. So uh, we want to make sure they're getting thanked, out, thanked and they're doing a great job. But again, it's a public awareness campaign. We're going business to business. We're encouraging the public on the safe practices. We're educating restaurants on uh, what the rules are um, and, and they're very simple a restaurant they're allowed up to 50% capacity of what they normally are allowed and they got to ensure that the parties that come are within six feet of uh, apart from each other so if I come with my family we could be on the same table but if you come with your family and I come from my family my family needs to be six feet away from your family um, and when we're walking in we got to make sure we have our mask on you know uh, when you sit down at the table, we can take the mask off, you know. Um, but right now, let's walk into Shatila Bakery. Uh, I know. Uh, Asa, before yeah. we walk in, I want to yeah. ask you, uh, banquets, what's the deal with banquets? How many people are they, are they allowed to have inside? Yeah, so the banquet is very simple. If you got a building, all right, any building, you're allowed only 10 people inside of the building for a banquet. 
10 people. 10 only. people, that's it. You know? Some people said you're allowed 100 inside. So you're allowed 100 people for outside? an outside gathering. Okay, I think this is yeah. where the confusion is. That's where some the confusion is. Some yeah, people so are thinking that you, have, you are allowed 100 people inside the bank. So if it's inside a closed structure, hey. okay, uh, inside a building, which uh, the definition of that is anything with four walls and a roof, uh -huh. um, that's a, a structure. Okay. You're only allowed 10 people. How yeah. about a tent outside? A tent is allowed, you're allowed up to 100 people. So but 10 you, to 100. 100 people, you gotta make sure that the tent, that the walls are open so the air still circulates. That's the whole point okay. is to keep the air circulating. Okay. So a tent is allowed uh, as long as you keep the, the, the area open. Now, if you close up the tent, and you basically got a you got a closed structure now, you know. So then it's only ten people. It's only ten people. Yeah. So okay. as long as the structure, as long as the walls are open on it and the air can circulate, you're allowed up to a hundred people. The, so. I, some people are asking why you guys are doing this now. What's uh, what's the uh, rhetoric behind it? I yeah. mean, so, is there a reason for yeah. doing so it? So the idea the idea is is when the governor um, lifted and allowed more room, you move to the next stage yes. on June first. The city of Dearborn was averaging nine cases a day at that time. Okay. Right now, we're averaging 16 cases a day. In know? Dearborn only, in we're Dearborn. talking. So right we're now. up, we're up 75 percent in cases in Dearborn. Okay. And what we're doing is, the city of Dearborn right now is every day leading the county. And oh, wow. what we're doing is, we're putting together this public awareness campaign to kind of like, hey, before it gets bad, right? Right now, it's still controllable. But if we get ahead of it, if we get ahead of the problem before it gets out of hand. We can still fix it right now. Yeah. Um, and the way this virus lives, this virus lives very simple. It lives by transmission. So if we're able to reduce the transmission, we're able to get rid of the virus. That's yeah. the key thing here is, is reducing the amount of individuals that are being transmitted. And the safe practices um, are gonna are gonna help do so. Are we gonna get rid of this 100%? I don't think we are. But let's reduce the amount of spread, slow the spread down. By slowing the spread, we're able to ensure that people that are most vulnerable are safe. Um, you know, I got COVID back in March. Thank God I was healthy enough to survive it. You know? um, and, and, you know, and, and my mother got COVID. You know? oh, I transferred it to my mother. Oh, I gave my mother COVID. Thank God that we didn't have to bury her. Thank God she survived. And thank God that she got over it. Um, but how would I feel if I... And yeah. my mother didn't make it, yeah. you know. That's, and that's, I, I, what, that's an important thing that yeah. we got to talk about in the community. 100%. You know? Many people are young enough and they're healthy enough yeah. to survive this, but some people are not healthy enough. 100%. So why are we targeting businesses in, in, in specific? I know you guys are going from business to business. So what we're doing is, is, is what our, so every time there's a case that tests positive, what the Wayne County Health Department does is they contact the individual, they do a case investigation, and we... We do contact tracing, you know, and what our what the data has been telling us is, is the spread is not in households, but the spread is community spread, and the virus is spreading when people are out in the community, going from business to business and shops. That's where it's spreading, and what we're trying to do is reducing the public gathering, reducing the the you know when you go shopping or do these things that there is safe practices in play. I want to ask you, Asad, there's a lot of people, they point out that Dearborn uh, and the Arab American community in general, Asad, uh, during the three months of the pandemic, like during March, April, May, even June, uh, they were like even strict than anybody else. Like when people were protesting in Lansing, they were protesting, you know, those stuff rules. The Arab American community and Dearborn was following those rules strictly. What happened? Why do you think people like, you know, they stopped following those rules? So, and, and I'll tell you this, honestly, from the data that's suggesting the people that are getting infected are not everyone, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a certain age group that's being infected worse than any other group that's being impacted. And that is the age group of 18 to 29 year olds. Okay. The truth of the matter is the weather is nicer now. People want to go outside, they want to move around, they want to visit their family, they want to do different things. But with that movement, we got to make sure we're doing, we're moving very safely. So I, so the spread is being spread by 18 to 29 year olds. That's so what it's the young people starts. who are it's spreading. The, it's the younger generation. Thank you very good. Thank you. you want to yes. go inside? Hello, let's, the let's go inside. Yeah, let yeah. me put my mask on like we're supposed to. Let me. You want me to? I yeah, can hold the mic that. for you. Um, أكيد نحنا نحنا موجودين في مدينة ديربون موجودين مع 
اسعد ترفه من وين كوني شرف وكمان معهم شرف ثانيين موجودين معنا رح نفرجيكم عليهم وكمان معنا ستيت راب عبد الله حمود هلا بس نفوت على المحل بركي بنحكي مع عبد الله كمان جوا عن هيدا الموضوع فخليني فوت انا وربيع ربيع اذا بدك حكينا معنا كمان ربيع حمود بتعرفه كمان من وان دير بوند كيفك يا ربيع؟ السلام عليكم هيدا الستيت راب عبد الله حمود موجود معنا كمان ومعنا باب اوكي رح نفوت مع الشرف رح نفرجيكم كيف بيعملوا الجوله تبعهم هاي دوين هاو ار يو هاي دوين جود جود وير لايف اون وات فيسبوك اون فيسبوك يب سو وي وير اس كيم باي ايرلير يو جايز ديد ا جريت جوب هير اي يو جايز ار دوين ذا رايت واي ذا بيست اوف ويز ذي هاف ذا مانجر ات ذا دور تو ميكن شور ذات ايفري ون جوت ا ماس ذات واكينج ان You know, you see everyone wearing a mask. People are keeping separate, and that's what we want. That's what we encourage. So uh, when you go into a business, Asad, what are you guys looking at exactly? So the first thing that we do is we welcome, we we greet the the business, so the person in charge, and and the customers that are inside there. We're doing it very professionally, um, and what we're what we do is we let them know that we have a public awareness campaign going on. Uh, we let them know the problem, what's going on with the recent spikes in the city. Um, and we let them know what we're doing. Uh, we obviously we identify who we who we are and, and where we're from, and we we give every business owner this flyer that the Wayne County Health Department put together. Uh, it's it's a uh, FAQ sheet, um, and and if they have any questions, we answer their questions. We look around in the place. If there's some recommendations that could be made, we make the recommendations. And if they have any questions, it's just a, a nice, friendly dialogue. But so give me a couple points you guys are looking at. So we're looking at masks. That's number one. Yeah. So when you, come, when you come in, we want to make sure that everyone's wearing a mask. We want to make sure that tables are spread out from each other, uh, within six feet apart. We would like to see identifiers on the floor that tell people where to stand uh, while they're waiting in line. Um, and obviously, the pluses are when you see the pluses is the hand sanitizing machine. Um, anytime you. You know, make sure they work. Um, I need some hand sanitizer. <laughs> so, you know, so but these these are the things we're looking for. So basically, you know? in general, we're looking at masks. We're looking at uh, signs on the floor that make sure there's distance between people, social distancing, and we're looking if there is hand sanitizer and disinfecting or yes, yeah, and the tables are spread out. Yes, yeah, so and the tables are spread out. Yeah, obviously. Very yeah. good. Very yeah. good. So, uh, yeah. do you want to say anything, or do you want to say anything, Mike? You know, we got all of them. We got the signs right here. We got the four tape tops, hand sanitizer. All our employees wear masks. All our customers wear masks. Whoever doesn't come with the mask, we uh, just have to stop outside and go get one. Okay. And no one's allowed to enter the store without a mask. Okay, so you guys don't allow anybody inside no. without a mask. We stand here like all day. We no, not yeah. Most of the times we stand here. We have a bunch of eyes looking, people walking in and out with the mask or not. Nice. Yep. Very good. I got a nice practice social distancing sign. اوكي اوكي مثل ما شايفين يعني عم نعطيكم اكزامبل نحن موجودين بشتيلا هلا حاليا الطاولات عاملين لهم سبيس اوت كل اللي بدهم يفوتوا لهون لازم يكون لابسين ماسك حاطين هاند سانيتايزرز ايفري وير سو ذير فولوينج اول ذا رولز اكيد وين كاوني عم بيحاولوا يمرقوا على البزنسز لحتى يقولوا لهم شو هن الشغلات اللي لازم يعملوها عبد الله هون ولا برا؟ How important is what they're doing today, uh, Wayne County and the other, I mean, any campaign that's raising, raising awareness about this problem? I think it's extremely effective. I think we've seen Wayne County has really stepped up uh, the efforts across the city of Dearborn understanding that we've seen a rise in cases. I think what I really want to highlight is they're not coming in here, they're not looking to ticket. Okay. They're not looking to treat people or small business owners who are also struggling poorly. Uh, rather, they're trying to come in here, trying to educate, trying to work with our small business community to make sure that they're following the guidelines and the rules as they may be confusing, uh, and just trying to provide any helpful input they can to try to mitigate or reduce the possibility of spreading the disease. So at this point, the effort that they're doing right now, it's not an effort targeted to ticket anyone. At this point, we're just, you know, making sure, you know, they know what they should do and what they should not do. Correct. It's, it's an education campaign, it's an education my understanding. Campaign. Uh, and that's the way it seems to be going. And I think it's very receptive to our small business owners uh, and very helpful to them to build uh, a level of trust between the community 
uh, between the enforcement agency uh, to make sure that there's an understanding of what we can do collectively together, working hand in hand, uh, as opposed to trying to use a bully pulpit or ticket uh, to enforce the measures. Tayyip Abdullah, there is a lot of people, uh, I mean, you represent Dearborn, uh, there's a lot of people that were basically complaining about why should they call 911 on their neighbors and on, 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 on other people. 911 should only be used for emergency. What's your stand on that, about using 911 for reporting? Uh, disobedience with the order. So I, think, with the order. I think there was an article that emerged in a city council meeting where they've advocated for the non-emergency line. That has to be where I stand. We've always asked the residents, if you truly feel uncomfortable or see something that is uncomfortable to you, that you think does not follow uh, the executive orders, call the non-emergency line. Uh, you don't want to build mistrust between your neighbor. Look. Ultimately, they may not be informed on the exact rules. There yeah. are so many executive orders that have rolled out. Uh, rather, you want to be helpful. You want to provide guidance uh, and you want to build a level of communication where it's respectful of one another because uh, you're still living next yep. to your neighbor uh, far you're after. You're still going to see him every day. <laughs> exactly. So it's about using the non emergency line. Uh, and even before that, I would yeah. actually ask that you try having a conversation to educate uh, before you try to reach out and complain uh, or file a complaint. Tab hey, Abdullah, I mean, what's your what's your take? I mean, you, uh, you come from a public health background. What's your take on the increase and the rise in cases in Dearborn? Is it alarming? Well, uh, you know, it's still controllable. I think it's, it's it's certainly alarming, but it's not the time for panic. Okay. I think more than anything, it's time for action. Like we see Wayne County coming around doing small business checks. We also have Wayne County helping host a free uh, drive-through testing clinic this Saturday and, we're and Sunday, talk about it uh, which we encourage everyone to attend. Um, so I think it's the, the time for action, the time for us to come together to see what's missing, what's changed, how can we rectify that, how can we change it, and how can we put Durban on the positive path. Very good. What's your message to, uh, to our community? Uh, this Saturday and this Sunday, and I know that Assad is going to talk to I don't want to steal his thunder, uh, but please come out and get tested if you're the ages of 18 through 30. As Assad noted that we've seen uh, the most recent number of cases of individuals in that age group, please come out and get tested. If you have individuals in that age group who live at your household, come out and get tested. It is at no charge, 104 Centennial Library between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Perfect. Thank you, Abdullah. Thank you. Habibi. We are with you in the city of Dearborn. And in general, we are now in Shatila. آه آه نحن موجودين بسيارات آه شرف ديبارتمنت تبع آه تبع آه آه يعني وين كاوني آه عم يمرقوا على المحلات I'm gonna translate because we've been speaking in English a lot so let me translate in Arabic for our uh, uh, Arabic speaking followers so نحن موجودين بشتيلة آه هيدي الجولة اللي عم نقوم فيها نحن عم نقوم بهيدي الجولة مع المقاطعة وين كاوني الشريف تبع مقاطعة وين كاوني الديبارتمنت تبعهم معنا خينا اسعد طرفه وربيع حمود وخينا باب كمان موجودين من الديبارتمنت عم بيروحوا من مؤسسه لمؤسسه ما عم بيعطوا تيكت لحدا اكيد الهدف مش انه يعطوا تيكت الهدف انه يتاكدوا انه هذه المؤسسات عم بتقوم بما يلزم من خطوات لحمايه الموظفين تبعها ولحمايه الزبائن اللي عم بفوتوا على المحل عم يتاكدوا انه العالم لابسين واقي للوجه عم يتاكدوا انه في تباعد اجتماعي ما بين الاشخاص وكمان عم يتاكدوا انه محطوط في هاند سانيتايزر والطاولات بعاد عن بعض لحتى ما يكون في مشاكل او ما يكون في زياده في حالات الكوفيد 19 كمان اشار اسعد طرفه الشيف اوف ستاف تبع وين كاوني شرف انه تبع وين كاوني اكزيكتيف انه عاملين نهار السبت حد اللايبرري بديربون سنتينيو لايبرري نهار السبت رح يكون في فحوصات مجانيه للكورونا فيروس هذه الفحوصات مجانيه هاي واحد في يجي ياخذها لهذه الفحوصات واستفيدوا منها لانه اكيد بتساعد في لما انتم عم عم تنتبهوا لهذا الفيروس مبكرا تساعد في انه تخففوا من انتشار هذا الفيروس خليني اطلع لبرا بعد نحكي مع الوين كاوني شرف واكيد بنتشكر شتيلا وعلى استضافتهم لنا خليني انا شكرا لك اسعد كان وي كان وي توك اباوت ذا كوفيد تيستينج اون ساتردي مور سو اف يو كان تيل اس اباوت ذا كوفيد تيستينج يا سو Who can come? Do they need like medical, you know, Medicaid, medical? No. So this this Saturday, the Wayne County Executive's Office and the City of Dearborn have teamed up to offer free COVID testing to anyone that wants it. The only requirement is is that you're at least 18 years of age. That's it. Okay. Show up, pull up. Uh, we're gonna have six lanes of traffic uh, to process people because we don't want you to wait. Um, we want we we're, we're trying to do everything we can to encourage people to come out. Um, okay. It starts this Saturday, uh, Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. 
at Henry Ford Centennial Library on Michigan Avenue, right down the street from uh, the police station. So, okay. do they uh, need to bring like any kind of ID with them? Um, if you got an ID, bring it. Um, if you don't, it's not the end of the world. We'll figure it out. We're solution focused here at Wayne County. So just, you know, if you got ID, bring it. If you don't, we'll figure it out. And it's so a free test. It's a free test. Uh, Is it a rapid one where they get the result right away? So the results are we within three days. Three days. It's a nasal swab. That's been the most accurate test that we that we like. Um, I know rapid is, is a little more convenient, yeah. but this test is, uh, has a higher accuracy on it. So. Very good. Yeah. Are we going to another business uh, now? Or, uh, uh, we're going to continue going and doing checks throughout the uh, city of Dearborn. We're going to be in here uh, for the rest of the week. Uh, and uh, if, you see, if you see these guys, make sure you thank them for their service. So. Uh, but thank you. And, uh, and thank everyone and let's get the word out let's uh, you know it's a public awareness campaign when does this so, campaign end it's gonna end when you bring the numbers down we'll so let's bring the numbers down so you guys are gonna keep going from business to business and we're gonna keep up. doing it until we bring the numbers down we want results very good so we'll, we'll get the results we'll you know we need to do better and I know we will do better so. awesome awesome yeah. Bob you guys Rabia, you want to say something he's good Bob I'm good I'm good I know you always say something, so say something. I can't say nothing right now. Okay, it's thank like, you. It's, uh, yeah, it's He's a... on duty right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you should be All right. Uh, thank you. No problem. We were all in the city of Dearborn with the Wayne County Sheriff Department, Wayne County Executive Chief of Staff, Khayna Asaad Turfa. كنا موجودين بأكثر رحنا على أكثر من بزنس هلا وصلنا على شتيلة وبشتيلة فتوا مثل ما شفتوا فتنا لجوا طلعوا على المحل تأكدوا إنه كل شيء ماشي حاله مزبوط وهلا رح يكملوا جولتهم على محلات تانية ليتأكدوا إنه هذه المؤسسات عم بتقوم بدورة وعم ب... عم بيكون عم بيطبقوا الأوردرز الإكسكتيف أوردرز تبع ال الغوفرنر أكيد بهيدي الخطوة ميحة ومثل ما قال كمان نائب عبد الله حمود عن ولاية ميشيغان إنه كتير مهم كمان ما يكون في فزع وما يكون في هلع وما يكون في إنزايتي كتير مهم إنه نحنا نحتوي هذا الموضوع بطريقة علمية موضوعية كمان ما يكون في هذا الفزع اللي عم نشوفه هذا الهلع من العالم لكن مثل ما قلنا نحنا ديربون بشكل عام وأجيري العربية كانت ملتزمة بشكل كتير كبير كنا ملتزمين أكتر من كتير عالم لما كانوا عم هن عم يتظاهروا ب ب بلانسينج كانت أجيالي ملتزمة أكتر من غيرها وقعدة ببيوتها وهيك بس كمان كل شيء بيزيد عن حده بينقص مثل ما بيقولوا واللي بتشد عليه كتير إلا ما يرتخي فنحن أنا بعتقد نشد كتير على الجيلي تبعنا لحد ما فقعت مثل ما بيقولوا بالعربي الفصيح عربي الدارج فهذا هو واحد من الأسباب إنه الجيلي طلعت خلاص زهقوا من القعدة من البيوت طلعوا من بيوتهم بس كمان إذا بنطلع من بيوتنا مش غلط بس خلينا نضلينا من تبهين مع مين عم نعود إذا حدا عنده سيمتومز أو عوارض من نتخالط معهم إذا حدا عنده كوفيد من نروح لعنده ونزوره لأنه نحنا عنا عادات العرب بس واحد يكون مريض من نروح من زوره بس واحد يكون عنده كوفيد يا جماعة ما حدا يروح يزوره لحتى يخلص من هذا الموضوع ويصح ما عاش يصير عنده عوارض بدخل تزوره فيكن تزوره بس بشكل عام هذا الفيروس فيروس ينتشر بشكل سريع جدا فمين كيف يمكن حالات الوفاة منه هلا عم تنزل لأنه المصابين من بهذا الفيروس هني من ال من الفئة العمرية الصغيرة من 18 إلى 30 سنة مثل ما سمعنا فكتير مهم نحنا ننتبه بس بنفس الوقت ما نوصل لمرحلة الهوس والهلع والفزع منه يعني صراحة لأنه العامل النفسي هو عامل كتير كبير فكمان خلينا ننتبه على قصة العامل النفسي في هذا الموضوع نزور قرايبينا بس ننتبه لحالنا ويعني نلتزم بالتباعد الاجتماعي بالنظافة ما هي النظافة أهم شيء إذا عم نغسل إيدينا مزبوط يعني مش بس منزب ماء إيدينا لازم نغسل إيدينا عشرين سنين أتليس إذا عم نستعمل سانيتايزر إذا عم نكون نظاف ما المفروض إنه نكون نحنا عم نساهم بانتشار هيدا الفيروس يعني حي الله مرض حتى الأنفلونزا إذا أنت منك ملتزم أو أنت منك ملتزم بقواعد النظافة فمين كيف أكيد هيدا شو ما بتحمل أنت كأمراض بده ينتشر للآخرين من خلال السلام من خلال العبطة من خلال التبويس فنكنوا الكوفيد 19 ونكنوا الإنفلونزا ونكنوا حيالله فيروس الطريقة الأمثل لحتى نحمي حالنا منه ونحد من انتشاره هو إنه نكون نضاف يعني وأضعف الإيمان إنه شخص يكون نضيف فمين كيف النضافي من الإيمان خلينا نكون مؤمنين على القليل بهيدي الشغلة ونلتزم بهذا الموضوع لحتى نخفف من انتشار حي الله فيروس مش بس الكوفيد 19 وإنما أي فيروس موجود 
انا بتشكركم لمتابعتكم لنا على واتساب ميديا نتورك يعني انا بعتذر منكم ان يمكن اليوم طلعت كثير على الهواء يمكن كنا على الراديو على 3 للأربعة وكنا عندي شو مع الدكتور تمام من الأربعة ونص للخمسة ونص وهلا عم نطلع لايف بس لاهميه الموضوع المطروح وكمان طلبوا منا من وين كوني شرف انه نكون موجودين معهم وهو هدف سامي صراحه لتوعيه العالم فما فينا نرفض صراحه انه نوعي العالم ونكون اداه ووسيله لحتى نوصل معلومات يمكن تحمي شخص او تنقذ حياه شخص فهذا هو الهدف بتشكركم على متابعتكم لنا شكرا لكم وان شاء الله بنكون ببرامج اخرى وبنقل مباشر ل برامج اخرى و حملات تانية ان شاء الله كان معكم حسين هشام من واتساب ميديا نتورك من امام شتيلا بمدينه ديربون الى اللقاء وشكرا لكم خليني اشوف اذا عندي الانيميشن ما عنديش الانيميشن يلا الى اللقاء